We have a really typical question shows up on pre-cal. Uh, we are given a function, a uh, fourth order polynomial, and that the x equal to minus 3 and x equal to half are the roots. So basically, we need to find the remaining two more roots because the number of roots match the highest power of the polynomial. Let's do a quick analysis and go about how to solve this one. Analysis looks something like this. Since we're given two roots, basically they're telling us to rewrite the function into x minus root 1, x minus root 2. Now this minus, uh, you got to be pay attention so that you don't leave it x, x minus 3. It's x minus minus 3, so in, in essence this becomes x plus 3. And since there are two roots over here, and we need to find out what the quotient is. To find the quotient, unfortunately, we either have to use long division or synthetic division twice. Uh, I believe I will use the long division just to save myself the trouble doing synthetic twice. And once in a while I find a quotient, I can solve from there. All right, let's write up the, the solution. All right, so here's the solution. We're going to rewrite the function we're given the polynomial into x minus the first root, x minus the second root. We need to find out where the quotient, which I will use the long division in the next step. In order to use the long division, I use the FOIL combine the first two. It makes the long division easier for myself. And the quotient we find is 2x squared minus 4x minus 4. So all the steps are listed over here. Once we're finding where the quotient is, I'm going to rewrite it over here, taking from the step 1, fx then is equal to x minus the first root, x minus the second root, and this quotient that I found using long division. Solving this one equal to 0, because by setting each one of the multiplicate, multiplicate parts into 0, I have the second part equal to 0. This just happened to be a quadratic. Using quadratic equation, substituting into a, b, and c, we see the x is equal to 1 plus minus radical root of 3. So there are the four equations, uh, four roots for solution to the fx. Minus 3, half, 1 plus radical 3, and 1 minus radical 3. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or hit like button on this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.